Hello everybody, uh, this is Captain Curb here with a little bit of an update on Yoshi Engine as I will be beginning the intermediate tutorials later today. But for now, I wanted to kind of show you a few little, few little tricks I've learned uh, since I started working with it. So to start off, we have uh, the uh, Game Banana page here, and as you can see, it's all just normal what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to click on the github page and i'm going to kind of show you guys a little cool trick so that you can get all the latest features and stuff before the engine even comes out and in that way you can kind of help be a play tester as well and once again just to confirm this a massive thank you to all of the yoshi engine contributors especially yoshi crafter himself he does incredible work and has worked so fast on this and like I, I can't even begin to express how excited I am to like show you guys all of the new features and show you just why this engine is so much better than Psych now. And no offense to Shadow Mario baby fans, <laughs> don't worry. So uh, to start off here, now we're in the GitHub page, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to click on this little branch here that says main. And once we do that, we're going to go down to this other branch that says dev. Basically what this is, is that Yoshi pushes uh, builds when he's testing the game to like see if certain new features work. And if they work, it actually records a successful build. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the dev here. And it's going to take us to something that's new. As you can see, the last push was five hours ago instead of five days ago. So what we can do here now, because the custom main menus have already been added, is we can now go to Actions, click on this. And once we get there, we can see that he has done workflow runs. And as you can see here, the latest one, Optimizations, uh, was five hours ago, which is the latest push. If you click on the latest one, it will take you to this where you can see that he made a build for it and you can even see the artifacts. So instead of compiling the game every single time that there's a new update, what I do now is I actually just uh, click this and wait for it to install. And once it installs, uh, you essentially just drag it into your folder and then drag your mods over and you've got an updated engine. That's It's that easy. It, there's no... No significant porting required unless he changes something big, which he hasn't yet. So with that, we'll just... Um, with that, really, uh, I'm, I'm just downloading that for the new tutorials that I'm doing tonight. So uh, for now, uh, I will leave that there. Uh, just a little tidbit on how to install the very, very latest build of Yoshi Engine. Once again, massive thank you to Yoshi Crafter for this wonderful engine. and. I'll be back later today. See you guys.